Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald with Veterans for America First and our partnered firm, The Vet Voice. I'm here with Ken Benway, who is running for school board in Moore County, North Carolina, but, and he's applied for endorsement by Veterans for America First. But before we talk about that, Ken, uh, you run an organization uh, that's important for veterans in this country. Can, can you tell us about that, what you do, and tell people how to get the information? Sure. Um, I run a, uh, an organization called Special Operations Speaks. We established that back in 2012. Myself, a Navy SEAL captain down in Chocowinity, North Carolina, and a colonel who uh, was a uh, MC-130 pilot there in the Panhandle or Florida. And we we got together, actually, and pulled 100 bucks and started a website. And uh, we went on, online and complaining about the security leaks surrounding the bin Laden uh, raid. Uh, and that those leaks were generated by the, the White House at the time, the Obama administration, and in particular, uh, Joe Biden. Um, first month, we got 100,000 hits. So we knew we were, we'd touch the nerve there, and we continued pursuing that issue. It ended up on the House uh, floor, uh, a, uh, a petition by uh, Representative Pete, Peter King in New York, uh, encouraging the Obama administration to cease and desist in these security leaks. Um, that went pretty well. Three guys just trying to do something, and we ended up on the floor of the, the U.S. House. Uh, then Benghazi came along, and that we were off to the races there. We got a thousand signatures on a 60 foot scroll, 60 foot by four foot wide scroll. Uh, Roll that out on the Capitol steps in, in Washington with a dozen senators and congressmen uh, at our side. And that generated House Resolution 36, which resulted in uh, Trey Gowdy's investigation, which then resulted in finding Hillary's emails. So we had lit a real fuse there. And uh, it, it, it burns today yet. So anyway, we, we have resolved down to uh, supporting what we call vets in the fight. Vets in the fight must vote. If capable, they must run for public office, and they must hold government accountable. We do a survey uh, each election year and pick, based on how much money we've got, X number of, uh, of uh, first-time candidates who are military veterans, and we su support them with funding and, and some uh, publicity exposure. So that was our pursuit. Um, this has evolved even further than that in that we now have a uh, uh, an organization that runs uh, muster to election, if you will, uh, formats uh, to address the election process at county level. I can give you a link to that at some point if you like. I'm but, sorry, that's a whole lot of information. No, no, this is isn't. This is important for. stuff. I mean, you know, you're, you're fighting to save our country and the irony here is, uh, you know, President Trump never leaked any classified information. They're going after him uh, for something that Joe Biden did. That's <laughs> for right. Something that Hillary did. For some, you know, it's the double standards in this banana republic are amazing. But let's talk about your election because it all starts in the schools. Um, you're running for school board. Tell us a little. We we know about your background. Uh, tell tell us about. Um, your actually, I'm sorry. Tell us a little more about your background and then your platform. Sure. Um, I served 27 years in the uh, U.S. Army Special Forces and Parachute Infantry Units. I retired as Lieutenant Colonel. Um, I did my uh, my time in Vietnam in 1967, 68. Uh, like I say, spent the next 27 years on active duty. Retired in 1993 and um, became a, a contractor supporting special operations for the next 12 years. Uh, around 2012, I, I retired fully, um, and now I'm just making trouble for uh, for uh, politicians that don't don't support the, the Constitution. Uh, so going into this uh, this uh, election, um, you know, I, like you get older, you you cast back and decide that you know my teachers in high school and grammar school. I could never repay them for the, the education they they left me with uh, those those tools that I ever, I needed to become successful, and I don't like what I see in the schools now today. We have a a, a steady decline in student performance, and now we've 
pu pushed in the social engineering aspects that are are crowding out real education. So we 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 need to turn this around. And uh, over the next four years, if elected, we've got a good solid uh, group of conservatives with varied backgrounds that I think can can help do that here in Moore County. Okay. And as far as uh, your specific race, I understand you're running on a slate. Yes, myself, um, Pauline Bruno, and Shannon Davis. Okay. And uh, I know the answer to this um, because it's reflected in your comments, but can you just tell our board, the voters and the viewers, uh, your position on America First policy? Oh, at absolutely support that that's that's what school and many other aspects of, of citizenship are all about um we've got to take care of america we haven't been doing that very well in the last decades actually uh we tend to uh try to uh, serve everybody else but let things go here at home and we need to fix that and i thank you for your service lieutenant colonel um thank you for everything you're doing with your organization and Hopefully, uh, we see you get into office here and help change the school system for the better. So I, I have enough to float this up the chain, and I, I will be talking to you next week, sir. Great. Looking forward to it. Okay. Thanks thank very you. Much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay. Have a great weekend. You too. Yep. I'm Ken Benway, running at large for Moore County School Board. I'm a retired Army officer, and I'm appalled to find that upwards of 70% of our military sons and daughters cannot read at grade level. 70%, over 50% of our students are failing at math and English. The rate is even higher for minorities. Our students are in a post-COVID learning crisis. Core proficiency in math and English must replace political agendas in the classroom. I oppose indoctrination using CRT in the classroom. Pornography attacks both the intellect and the spirit. Permitting pornography in libraries and classrooms destroys the spirit, betrays parents, and undermines families. Student safety on our school buses has been compromised. I want to restore mutual trust and confidence between the Moore County School Board and parents. Parents do matter. I'm Ken Benway from Whispering Pines. I'm running for Moore County School Board, and I'm asking for your vote. Cast your school board votes for Ken Benway, Pauline Bruno, and Shannon Davis, your Moore County School Board parents team.